Welcome to the Fitzroy. My name is Pip. This garden is part of a historic property that was actually built in 1840 by a man by the name of John McKenna. And it has gone on for many generations from there with many owners and it also has a listed historic garden with it. Behind me we have this amazing, incredible holly tree which was planted around that time, that period as well. A lot of the garden has actually got a lot of wonderful English style trees and plants and various different things and a lot of old fruit trees including apricots, quinces. The highlights, I think it comes through from the entrance. Since I've moved here, I've actually incorporated a, a really beautiful wrought iron automatic gate and fence. So coming through, you actually come into this section here, which is the front, with the holly tree, which is the main highlight of this, this area. The beautiful old lilac, which is growing there. And it really fits in very well with the buildings, with the, the beautiful stone, uh, blue stone stables, the house itself. And then you walk through to the courtyard, which has got this lovely fountain, and during the, the summer months, we've got beautiful um, grapes that are growing that are all up, over the pergola. And then you go around to the eastern side of the house, which was the original entrance to the house. And two previous owners actually decided to incorporate enclosed, enclosed the, the uh, veranda. But you've got this beautiful uh, pond, which has got water lilies in there and uh, water irises as well and there's irises growing all at the moment and they're about to come out in bloom which is beautiful and it sort of goes around in a big circle so it's a really very special place there's lots of little pockets with it and up the back part of the garden too is a very special uh, section where it was the old original outhouse so i'm very fortunate that uh, two previous owners put in a bore and uh, so I've had the bore running, but during the drought it was really touch and go um, because a lot of a lot of the bores are running out of water at the moment. And uh, until we ended up having all this beautiful rain in the last six months, really. So it was constant watering, and that's what happens. I mean, I'm lucky I don't have to survive on just rainwater. Another part of this front garden too is the old well, which you can't see because it's all covered up underneath the ground and this is the, um, the tower for the tank and during the autumn months is, um, is a beautiful creeper that goes, it's called a Virginia creeper and it comes out in these most magnificent colourful leaves in autumn. So the garden has something to offer all year round whether it's summer, winter, winter when it's snowing here it's just so magical the red berries come out in the holly tree um, spring at the moment, we've got lots of beautiful tulips, 